In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to get the input from the user. So let's say we want the user to enter in their name. The function to do that is called input. And let's tell the user, please enter your name. And then print out the name. Once I run the file, you can see that it asks you, enter your name. Let's type John. And it prints out John. The next thing we want to do is ask the user for their age. So we have an age variable, and this time we also have an input. Please enter your age. Now, one thing to note is that age is an integer. So we have to put the function int in front and actually put input inside the int so that it will convert the input into an integer. And as you can see, we now have both John and 20 as his age. So you might be wondering what happens if we remove the int. Now let's try that. And this time, we're going to print age plus one, just for demo purposes. If we run the file, you can see that there's actually an error because it cannot execute age plus one. And the reason is that Python doesn't think that H is a number. It thinks that H is a word or a letter. And we're going to talk about strings in the next videos. But to fix this error, you have to tell Python that we want an integer as an input. When I put the int function in, it's able to print out 20 plus 1, which is 21. There's one more thing I want to show you about the input, which is getting a decimal instead of an integer. So let's say we want the user's height and the height is equal to float and float is basically a decimal as opposed to an integer. So float input enter your height in meters and then print the height. So we have John and the age is 20 and height is 1.9 for instance. So there we go. That's all about the input. And in the next video, we will talk about strings, booleans, and data types.